Hi everyone, it's Dan here from Flexible and today we're gonna to talk about how to land the big whale national level clients that will buy as many leads as you can get them. Let's get stuck in. All right, so let's, you know, firstly talk about my definition of a whale client, all right? Uh, if you haven't seen my content before, we op operate in the paper lead space, right? Which means that clients buy lead from us on a paper lead basis. The difference between what we generate the lead for via Facebook or Google or whatever and sell them for is our profit margin. There's no monthly contracts, there's no commitments. Um, we're a performance-based agency, right? So my definition of a, a whale client is a client that is able to take leads from anywhere within the country usually. The UK, for example, has 60 million people. It means that if you show your ads in Cornwall, um, the client's gonna take the lead from down there versus the north of Scotland, all right? They're gonna take the lead from there too. And that's all obviously a function of their offer, right? So you, don't ha you can't really do that if you're a, a kitchen or remodeler as a client, right? So usually a, a whale client is someone that has a national offer that can take the lead from um, you know, anywhere in the, in the country. So my definition of a, a whale client, there's only three real things, right? They have to have deep pockets, that's important. Um, they have to take leads from anywhere and they're able to take leads from a, you know, a large population. All right, and you, you can nail these three things um, and they've got a, you know, a big sales team that can obviously take a lot of leads, then you're on to a winner. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about how you can land these whale clients. I wish I could give you a magic formula on exactly how to do this, but I'd be doing you a disservice if I said that anyone coming in to the paper lead game without any experience, that's never run an ad in their life, that um, hasn't even got an agency website, is able to come in and land a wild client. You know, first of all, let's just, you know, you might get in a conversation with a wild client, but you're not gonna be able to deliver for them. You've gotta be able to, um, to work on this Gradually, you've got to, you've got to, what I say, kiss a few frogs in the process, right? You've got to be able to get on some calls, speak to some clients, get results for the clients. And if you're able to get results from the clients, that's when the, when cool things start happening. That's when you start getting referred to bigger clients um, and things start really humming for you, all right? But like anything I've always spoken about before, it's all about relationships in your early days and getting results for your clients and doing what you can to get them um, to be able to help them solve the problems that they're having, listening to what they're saying, listening to what they're struggling with, all right? If they haven't got a sales team that's converting very well, then you know maybe recommend something like high level to be able to fix that problem. The quality of the leads isn't good. Um, you know, ha Have a look at the thank you page on your funnel or that you're doing. We've, we've got a whole, a whole video on what to do there, which is gonna help contact rates. All of these little things really add up to be able to um, build relationships and get results for your clients. And when these things start happening, then you're gonna start landing the, the, the bigger clients and things are really gonna start humming for you. If you're just beginning, um, or even if you're uh, advanced, you need, to you, you need to start having a lot, of, a lot of conversations with clients, right? That's lots of sales, a lot of sales. Sales makes the world go round. Lots of calls, lots of ads, lots of outreach. All that type of stuff is gonna make the difference for you. All right, so I've mentioned that you know the best way to land the whale, the whale client is to, is to have lots of sales conversations, right? And um, there's a number of different ways that you can do this. And trust me, we've tried them all over the years, right? You can be trying cold email. Um, you can be going to a client's contact page and putting in your details there and asking for a, a, a call, see if you can help them. Um, you can be doing direct mail. We've done seven figures from a one piece of direct mail that would offer the client some free leads to begin with. We sent it out to all of the um, biggest clients in the UK. We got a, a few responses and we landed one client that, that we did seven figures with, all right? So direct mail is, 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 is very cool um, uh, and it works very well. Um, but the, the, it's kind of less, less sales conversations when, when you use direct mail from my experience, okay? And the number one way that I've seen um, agencies scale and I've seen agencies really grow to a, a really significant le level to land these wild clients is by doing consistent Facebook ads, all right? We know Facebook 
in 2022 is kind of going through a bit of a transition phase, but it still works. I'm still advertising on Facebook. It's still a great platform. You know, whether you're gonna try the same hooks and angles over at TikTok or whatever, then go for it. What I'm saying is that um, what works uh, to be able to have lots of sales conversations <clears throat> is straight up Facebook ads, all right? And I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about what that looks like now. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about how we teach to uh, generate clients and a lot of sales conversations inside my program. Um, it's via a simple, um, what we call a survey funnel, right? So if you can picture an ad on Facebook, that goes to a landing page which has um, a survey that asks a number of questions. Let's say it's a mortgage company. How many staff members have you got? Have you bought leads before? How many leads per week can you take? You know, just questions like this that kind of filters people out. So if they answer all of the wrong type of questions during this quiz, then you take them to a page where you say, I can't really help you, or perhaps the time isn't quite right now. There might be something else you can sell them, right? Versus the people that do qualify, then they go to what we call a kind of a calendar booking page off the back of that, where they can book in a slot and become an appointment for your sales team or yourself if you're doing it on your own. If we look at the numbers, all right, the cost to generate a booked appointment is roughly 50 bucks. You know, these are kind of, these are proven numbers, but I'm just gonna give you kind of roughly what this looks like, all right? So you can wrap your head around it. Um, which is why it's important if you're an agency, you, sometimes you've gotta have a little bit of cash behind you to get going for something like this, all right? If, you, if you're running by the, the, the seat of your pants and you got nothing, then I would not recommend going down this route. This is more for people that can get results, are good at what they do, and that are also good at generating leads. Because if you can do those three things, then you're gonna scale the crap out of things with this process. It's roughly 50 bucks an appointment. Let's say you land uh, 10 appointments. 10 times five is 500 bucks, all right? For, for 10 appointments, it's cost you 500 bucks. Half of the people are roughly gonna show up, which means five appointments, and you're gonna close one in five of these calls if you're decent, all right? So the cost per client gained is about 500 bucks, all right? And from the numbers that we've worked over the years, and what I've seen inside of my community is that roughly one in 10 of these closed clients become a, a whale, all right? So at the end of month one, if you spent 5K on, on ads, you've got 10 clients, some of them are gonna be small clients that drop off quickly, others are gonna be middle-sized clients that just kind of tick on and kind of make you nice kind of a nice bit of revenue and then you're gonna have one client that is really gonna to wanna to, you know, push with you. They're the ones that you really wanna look after and really grow with. But the fact is that for 5K, and that, if that sounds like a lot of money to you, then it's probably not for you running, running paid ads, but 5K to land 10 clients and have one major client that will spend more than 5K a week with you is, is the kind of numbers that we're talking about here. But the problem is that a lot of, not a lot of agencies and people, you know, have the, you know, for a, a crass way of putting it, the balls to be able to do something like this, all right? And the people that do do it win. I've seen it time and time again. People that are able to scale systematically like this you know, I'm not even gonna mention all the high level stuff that goes on the back end, you know, to make sure that they get text messages to turn up, make sure that you kind of follow up uh, a month from now, six months from now, all of that type of stuff that you can do with a great CRM, like high level. But um, this is how you scale. It's a pretty simple formula, all right? There's plenty of companies out there that need leads. Just a matter of getting on the phone with them, with enough of them, and you're gonna find your whale that way. And you know what the cool thing that happens when you do this for a year, right? When you just have a systematic process to just fill your boots with as many clients as you can get. What happens then is that you start getting a reputation in the industry, all right? That's when you can start raising your prices and also people start referring you, all right? And also, you've got the added um, option here of if you have a big client base, you can sell your agency. If you, you're able to, to kind of systematize what you do, have your sales process down, be able to generate leads through multiple ad networks. You know, this is where you want to get to, to be able to, um, you know, really do well with your agency. So that's my video today on how to land whale clients. It's not an instant fix. I'm sorry about that. I, I hope I haven't deceived you too much. Um, but if you do, if you did like this video, please give us a like. Um, so we need to create more kind of um, content like this. If you've got any comments about how to land whale clients, comment in the comment box and we'll get back to you. And lastly, please subscribe to our channel so you'll be the first to know when we get new stuff out. 
Okay, and the last thing, if you are watching this video and you don't kind of understand what pay per lead is and it's a new concept to you, then we have a game plan that shows you how to escape what we call retainer client prison and transition to performance-based marketing pay per lead model. It's good stuff, you're gonna love it. There'll be a link somewhere, click it and uh, enjoy.